It talks about defunding police, criminal justice reform, choice in schools, becoming her high school's first black cheerleader. And she talks about Aretha Franklin. The Raleigh Democrat caught me by surprise during our Zoom interview, reminding me about a popular song back in the 80s. I don't know if you're old enough to remember Aretha Franklin's song, Who's Zooming Who? I didn't remember who's Zooming Who at first, but when I heard Aretha Franklin singing the song, it all came back. Back in the 80s, Zoom was a slang reference that meant someone was checking out another person on the sly. That's, that's about how I feel that this has been. You know, I am on four, three, four, five of these a day. Ali says it's long overdue for North Carolina to have a black lieutenant governor, but that it's not a big deal for her because she's been the first black of a lot of things in her lifetime. She says becoming the first black cheerleader at her high school in Raleigh taught her an early lesson about life. After I made cheerleader, the, the, I was pushed, spat on, talked about, called names. And that afternoon, the principal put me in a room in the building and what I didn't understand why, but the Klan came out, out the school that day. They weren't in hoods, but there were men out there that afternoon looking for me. Okay, so I know that kind of fear. I also learned at 13 that there's some things bigger than me. Today, when asked about defunding police, this is how she responded. There is confusion over the words defund police, and I'm wondering what it means to you. Well, well let me say this, you know, words are words. I want action, you know, and I don't think anybody's talking about we want protection, not policing of our communities. We don't want to see young black men being shot because they sold a cigarette on the street corner. Holly's campaign website is bilingual, one of only two that I've seen. Her platform includes criminal justice reform. For example, driver's licenses have the, the taking away of somebody's driver's license because they could not pay a fine. You just took away their ability to get to the job to, so that they will be, then be able to pay the fine. Ali says the pandemic has highlighted North Carolina's housing problem. She says she's urged the governor to put more state money into low-income housing. I have 3,000 school-age children living in hotels. These are working families living in one room. If they could pay 75 to 125 and $150 a night, but there's not enough housing in Raleigh in that income level for them, then we have a problem. Ali says North Carolina needs to invest more in community colleges as well, help train workers who lost their jobs in the pandemic. She's not a fan of school choice. I believe public money belongs in public schools. You know, uh, I'm not against charters. I just think that they need to offer something different. They shouldn't be competing with the public schools. They should be enhancing. They should be offering something that you can't get in a particular school in that community. Holly says she's a big supporter of the Black Lives Matter movement. She says if you were a little bit younger, she'd be on the streets with those protesters. Bill O'Neill, WXII, 12 News.